Hey friends, welcome back to my lifestyle channel. It's Brie, I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Brie, and this is my second channel where I do everything daily living, inspiration for fitness and cooking. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded. You all know my life has been kind of crazy if you follow me over on social media, but we are here. It is time to get the ball rolling. It's time to get this house back in order. So this is what I call the big house, moved back in. This is the bedroom. I've started getting things put back in place but we are going to take this room today give it a whole makeover get my basket wall put back up and get that boho vibe going that y'all know I love in here so if you're new here be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button that way YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video and I'll be sure to post all the important links and everything down in my description box so it's easy for you to find all right let's get started I'm so excited to get everything put back in order. I almost forgot to mention a big thank you to Silk Silky. They sent me a couple pairs of beautiful silk pajamas. I'm gonna try them on for y'all and I'll let you know the wonderful benefits of the silk material, but I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and open them up. I'm gonna get them ironed and then we will do a fun little try on. So as I get these opened up, I'm going to pop my discount code on the screen here for you. If you all are interested in some beautiful new silk pajamas, you can save a little bit of cash, which I know is super important for everybody right now. Oh, the packaging is beautiful. I am already digging it. Sleep with us, tell your friends. I like it, <laughs> a little risque. Silk Silky has created for you a prestigious silk sleepwear, 100% mulberry silk. Special textile techniques give the silk fabric a glossy and smooth tactility. To preserve the original quality of this product, avoid exposure to extreme heat and damp, enjoy the silky feeling better after ironing the wrinkles caused by normal packaging with a steam iron. All right, so let's see here. Oh, I'm very appropriately wearing my Show Me Your Junk shirt. <laughs> Y'all know the junk I'm talking about is more like wood and rust and metal. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, so first up, oh, how pretty. So this is just a single nightgown, little cup sleeve, and a nice length. So again, I'll have to iron everything, but look at that beautiful detailing at the top. Very, very pretty. And I got size smalls, so this one's the same, but a different color. Look at that beautiful gray purple. Y'all, I've kind of like totally been digging purple lately. Um, it is the Pantone color of the year, but it's never been one of my favorites. How fun. Okay, so I'm going to get these ironed and then we will do a fun little try on. This bedroom was due for a good cleaning. We have a couple of dogs and it was time to get everything vacuumed and dusted down. I just used some basic cleaning products I have on hand. Nothing fancy here. I really do like these roll blinds. They are easy to use. They're a good color. They match everything else in the room, but they're kind of a pain to clean. So I used a vacuum attachment with a bristle brush end and got them cleaned up really well. The glass toppers on these nightstands are nice for your beverages, but they do get lots of watermarks, so I wiped everything down with some Windex. Y'all, oh my god. And yes, even wiping down the walls. This is why they say to always clean your walls before you're ready to prime them for paint, because you don't realize how dusty and dirty they get. And a new technique I picked up is called a slow vacuuming. So literally as slow as I'm going right here is as slow as I vacuum these rugs. It really gives the vacuum time to work and do its job. If you think about it, when you go fast, it doesn't even have time to suction up that dirt. So give it a try at home. Let me know what you think about a slow vacuuming method. Let me know if you think you pull up more dirt and dust. Before we put the room back together, look at these gorgeous pajamas. 
The fit across my shoulder is perfect, which can be a problem for me sometimes with women's cuts as my shoulders are a little broader. The slit up the side is just the perfect amount of leg, but the length is long enough to feel comfortable to wear this around my house. And I love it in black, but y'all look at this purple. It is my favorite. Drop me a comment below. Do you prefer the black or the purple? And have you ever owned a pair of silk pajamas before? If not, you're missing out. Again, I will link everything down in the description box below, as well as my 10% off code for you. Now I'm going to go in with some of this DIY dark and decrepit and touch up the wood trim where the dog has scratched. So the dark and decrepit liquid version that I'm using is an all-in-one product so it is self-sealing um, but it's a multi-use product as well. You can use it as a stain, as a transfer gel, as a decoupage medium, a top coat, a glaze. So today we are using it to stain back this wood where a little doggo scratched it up. Usually I would put this in a separate container and work out of that so I didn't contaminate my big container, but this is almost gone. I'll end up using the rest of it in this room, I'm sure. So once I have a nice generous coat on, I do wipe it back just a little bit because this isn't the perfect match, but it is pretty darn close. Ta-da! So here's a piece of the woodwork and also this door is getting totally scratched up by the rat, uh, the railing, I guess. But if you look over here, I've got this piece all touched up. No more scratches. So much nicer. And then I got the door all touched up. So we get in there. I'll be sure to link this dark and decrepit down below for you as well. Now that everything is all clean and the paint is all touched up, let's get to decorating a bit. I love a good basket wall. I have accumulated a lot of baskets over the past couple of years. I had a basket wall here previously and I did one in the other house. It was a little bit larger, so now I'm just picking and choosing which baskets I want to use and keep. The rest of them I will probably list up on my website for sale soon. Now it's time to fancy up the bedding a little bit. Nice white crisp linens and a ton of throw pillows. All right, y'all drop me a couple of comments here. Do you use a ton of throw pillows at home? Does your significant other complain about it? And do you make your bed every day? I wanna know. <laughs> and here is a look at the bedding now there's a few more things to come into this room i still have in storage and i've got a big beautiful piece of wall art on the way for another upcoming video but this is a great start i do want to put together my little editing nook so I hang a hook up in the corner for one of my Edison bulb lights. I love low lighting, not a big fan of overhead lighting. I love lamps. In fact, I've been laughing here lately. I've been joking with Julie back and forth because Julie from Julie's Designs and Signs does not own lamps. She doesn't use lamps and I hate overhead lighting so I can't even fathom not having a lamp, but I love this hanging one clean up a little bit of my mess, get my editing chair in place, and bring in a couple of my plants.
I definitely have some more work to do in this room as far as decorating goes, but I've got a great start going, more plants to bring in, but it's going to be room by room. So I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little room refresh makeover. If so, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below. I want to know what kind of content y'all want to see coming up and I've got a lot of more rooms to make over. So again, thank you to Silk Silky for sponsoring today's video. If y'all want to check out their beautiful silk pajamas, all the information is down in the description box below. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye friends. So y'all know, it's real life. There's literally a, a feather swirling in the, in the fan and more dog hair than I really want to talk about. It's fine. So tech, oh, is that a good bed? You happy? Quit. You so many pillows to choose from. Stop. Or here's like a little extra piece of fabric. I'm not sure why that's in there. I'll have to look. There she is right there. Are you the perpetrator? <laughs> Did you do all that? Your sharp little claws. No, you don't want that. Although it is all natural. It's like, the second the camera turns on, forget how to adult.